Hello guys, welcome to Programming Minds. In this video, we are going to understand how to reverse sentence using recursion in C++ programming language. So let's get started. So let's understand what is recursion first. Okay. So when function calls itself until mentioned condition doesn't meet, it's called as recursion. Okay. So we will understand this uh, after the writing program. So let's get started with uh, including libraries. So let's use hash include. I will string using namespace standard. Let's write main function int main and return zero. Give the semicolon here. Okay, so let's define variable string str okay now let's print a message c out enter sentence to reverse okay give the semicolon here now let's use c in method to get that sentence and uh, we will store that sentence into str variable okay Let's 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 define one function here like reverse sentence and uh, we will pass that string to the function. Okay, let's define function body here while sentence and uh, we will be taking sorry string sentence here okay yeah so in in that uh, function we need to check condition first if sentence dot length equal to is equal to zero we will be returning that function so let's write return okay and uh, after that let's uh, define another string where we will be uh, storing the remaining sentence after uh, string let's use substring method and after first element okay then after that we will again call the uh, reverse sentence function so this is the recursion and uh, we will pass the remaining sentence to it and after that let's use cout function and uh, let's print the sentence so yeah uh, this is the whole implementation of C++ program to reverse the sentence so let's let's understand the understand by using above example okay so in recursion what we are doing we are checking if sentence dot length is equal to is equal to zero and uh, when the there is no item in sentence then we are returning the function okay let's understand why so we are passing piece to that uh, reverse sentence function and we are checking if sentence dot length is equal to is equal to zero and it is not true in this case okay we are passing piece to it okay so uh, this this body will not execute and uh, we will go to the this line and uh, here we will be storing string remaining is equal to sentence dot 
substring okay so what we are doing in this uh, line uh, so in this line we will be getting string by re removing the first item okay so as we have done it here we got the string by remo removing p so we have the uh, word or sentence like e a c e okay so after that we are again calling this that function and this is recursion okay so we will uh, call again this and we will go to this function here again to this line and uh, here we are again checking if a length is equal to is equal to zero and if it is not true then again it will be uh, getting the substring by using this method and uh, we will be getting a c e because we will be removing this and uh, after removing the first element we are getting the a c e and uh, it it uh, going to be happen till uh, it will uh, we will find the length of that uh, sentence zero itself okay so uh, after the uh, recurs recursively calling the function we will uh, get we will get the e and after that uh, there will be uh, no element remaining in the in that sentence so after that we will execute this statement where uh, sentence dot length will be zero and uh, we need to return that statement so uh, what happen in recursion when uh, we will return uh, last last recursive function then it will uh, start calling the remaining part of that function okay so we will return from here to this is the remaining part now and uh, we will return to that uh, remaining part and we will call this uh, c out method so at the end we got e so we will call the sentence first index okay so we we are getting first index like e then uh, we will again return to uh, second second last statement and uh, we will get first element as a c then we will get a then we will get e and uh, then we will get p so like that we are getting the reverse statement or sentence or string okay so let's run the program and see if it's working well okay Yeah, so uh, program is running successfully and it's asking us enter sentence to reverse. So let's enter word only piece. Okay, and press enter. Yeah, so we got the reverse word E, E, then we need C, we got C here, then we need A, we got A here, then we need E, we got E again here, then we need P, we got P here. So yeah, this was the successful implementation of C++ code uh, by using recursion to reverse the sentence or string okay so if you like this video you can subscribe to the programming minds youtube channel thank you